Hi guys, this is Justin from SpanishPlans.org. Yesterday I shared a way to use a Senior Wooly video uh, to make predictions about what was going to happen, and we used a technology called Pear Deck to help us with that. And a lot of you had some questions, so today we're going to show you how to use Pear Deck. So PearDeck.com is the website that you're going to use, and it's free. There is a premium, but the premium doesn't offer that many more features than uh, a f teacher would need. So um, you're going to go to PearDeck.com, and it's basically a Google add-on. So you're going to use this with your Google Drive, uh, Google Slide presentations. Um, and once you log in, you are going to have uh, the options to create a new presentation um, or to present a file from your drive. So once you've got something in your drive, uh, a Google slideshow, you can open that up. So we're going to open up this Billy Las Botas Tres activity. And uh, we just have the slides already with the pictures from uh, the stills of the video. And we're going to add in some questions. So what I did originally is I added in a question in uh, this text here, describe la foto, uh, parece que, and then I'm going to go to my add-ons, and I've already got Pear Deck here. If you want to install it, you just click get add-ons and search for Pear Deck and add it, and then uh, here when it shows up, you open it, and it's going to open up on the side. And you're going to be able to insert these types of things into the slide itself. Um, it's got some types of uh, formative assessment, uh, true and false, um, drag your dot on the screen, um, labeling parts. Uh, they even have one in Spanish here that says click the correct choice, I'm at, or circle rather, so the students are going to draw on the screen itself, draw a circle around the person, and then you're able to see where those students are drawing is circle the correct choice so the students with their mouse are gonna um, circle that and you can see who circled which ones and if anybody circled a different thing you would know oh they don't know what that word means um, and so you would go back and practice with them what I wanted is just a simple question so I'm going to um, use this ask students a question and they can uh, have a text, which is what I wanted. You can have them be multiple choice. You can have them choose a number, um, make it a draggle thing like that. So I'm just going to click the text. And it's going to add that to the slide. It's going to give that the students the ability to respond. So it doesn't actually add the question to the page. That, so you're going to need to create a text box and add in what the question is. What is uh, Billy thinking? Okay, or uh, you can put that in Spanish. So what does it look like on the student end? On the student end, they're going to enter a code to open up the presentation. And they have the picture here, and then they have their uh, activities here. So they're going to choose uh, if it's multiple choice. And as soon as they change their answer, it's going to live update on your end. So then they're going to go to the next slide. And the question here was, describe la foto. They're going to type in their answer. Hay un perro. And there's no submit button, so they don't need to click add another response. As soon as they have their answer typed in, again, that's going to be live on your end. You can see it as they're typing. Go to the uh, next slide. And again... Parece que, parece que el hombre perdió el gorro. Okay, and so we're on slide 3 out of 12. This is student pace, so the students can work at their own pace. You can also set it where the teacher advances the slide, so everybody's working on the same slide at the same time. Let's open up the teacher dashboard. So I'm going to go to this icon here. You can see the responses, the number of votes. Again, if a student votes for um, no van a vivir felices, this is going to update to uh, 7 automatically. I can advance to the next slide, uh, and I can see the responses here. 
um, for each student. And again, if students are typing, it's going to be live. When new responses are there, um, when students are typing, you're going to see their answers. And so uh, you can move on and see what each student is typing and what their answers are, and you can move along through that. And so you can project it for the whole class. Um, you can do it in a list layout as well, or as a grid. You can sort it by uh, the student, the time, what their response is. And then when you are finished going through these, you're going to end the session. And it says it's currently student-based mode. Okay, you can have students work on this outside of class. So I want to say, yeah, I want to end it. And I'm going to name it, uh, let's say I want to save this as my seventh period class. And so I'm going to type it in. Publish student takeaways is going to email that it is uh, finished and students are going to get a copy of all of their responses. So I'm going to save and end session. Dashboard. If I go to sessions, um, I saved it as seventh period. I can also reopen that session. Um, I can export all of the answers to a spreadsheet. I can open up the takeaways, and that's going to allow me to see all of the student responses in one place again. So if we look at that, it's going to say, are you ready to publish takeaways? And this is going to um, be where students will get an email. And so you can publish the takeaways, and the students will get that email. So that's uh, Pear Deck in a nutshell. Um, again, it's really easy to use with your Google Drive. Anything that you uh, have in your drive, or even if you have a PowerPoint, add that PowerPoint to your Google Drive. Uh, it'll be uploaded there. And then just start adding in these questions and to your slides, and you're all set.